Okay, this is the P1 paper from June 2022. It's question number six. And a quick look at it shows us that this is uh, quadratic simultaneous equations that we need to be able to solve. Uh, so let's have a look at it. So number six, given that 2xy minus 3x squared equals 50 and y equals minus x cubed plus 6x. So given that information, can we show that? Yeah, hopefully, I would have thought that's relatively straightforward. What I'm gonna do is to just quickly inspect these two, and it makes sense to me to get y equals from this one, and then plug it in there for that one. So let's have a go at trying to do that. So part A, I'm sorry, part A says, what have we got? We've got y minus x cubed, plus 6x equals naught, and we've got 2xy minus 3x squared equals 50, and from number one, I'm gonna get y equals x cubed minus 6x. Let's just take a bit more time over this, call that one, call that two, and say from number one, I get y equals there, and I'm now going to sub that, if I can get my pen to work, sub that into equation two. So in equation two, I've got 2xy, which is now 2x x cubed minus 6x, minus 3x squared equals 50. Okay, let's multiply everything out. 2x to the four, minus 12x squared, minus 3x squared is equal to 50. Tidied that up. 2x to the 4 minus 15x squared is equal to 50. What are we trying to get? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so, and that comes to 2x to the 4 minus 15x squared minus 50 equals 0, which is what we were trying to show in the first place. So, yeah, relatively straightforward, that first part. Part B, what are they going to ask us to do next? Right, hence, can we solve the simultaneous equations? Yeah, so we need to solve those two equations now, which really means we need to solve that equation. So do we know how to solve what that is? Looks like a equation power four, quartic equation, which you panic about for a second and then say, oh, no, 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 that, yeah, that's a quadratic equation if I just make the substitution that x squared is equal to y or equal to u or something like that. So let's make that substitution. Let's actually go ahead and do all that now. Get rid of that there. And actually have a go at doing it. So we've got that um, 2x to the 4 minus 15x squared minus 50 equals naught. So if I make the substitution, let y just be equal to x squared, then 2x to the 4 is 2x squared squared, so it's 2y squared. 15x squared just becomes 15y minus 50 equals 0, and now that's something that I can solve. It's just a quadratic. So we should be used to that, that, that you've done that through your revision a couple of times, hopefully. And as I keep saying on my videos, at this stage, doesn't always, but I'm looking to see if this factorizes. I'd be more surprised if it didn't factorize than it did. So I would always at least attempt to do that. In this case, this is 2y plus 5, y minus 10. I'll produce a separate video on how to factorize quadratics, but I'm not doing that at this stage here. So we get that 2y plus 5 equals 0, which are going to give me y equals minus 5 over 2, or y minus 10 equals 0, which is going to give me y equals 10. So now we've got to remember that it was y, but we actually started off with x squared. So it's actually x squared, which equals minus 5 over 2, or x squared, which equals 10. Well, this isn't a surprise to me either, that when I get that, this is how they're going to get rid of some of their answers here. You can't have x squared being a negative, so there are no solutions there. There's still two solutions from the other one then, so I'm going to get x equals root 10, or x equals minus root 10. I sort of go, go back and remind myself of what I'm doing here. Solve the simultaneous equation. So I need x's and y's for that. So 
uh, I'm now going to put x equals root 10 and x equals minus root 10 into one of the equations for y. And that's the simplest version I've got of y at the moment. y equals x cubed minus 6x. So let's say what we're doing here. For x equals root 10, y equals x cubed minus 6x. So y is going to be root 10 cubed minus 6 lots of root 10. Now, they say about not using things on your calculator, but if you do root 10 cubed on the calculator, they're not going to know that you've done that, and it comes to 10 root 10, doesn't it? It'd be lovely if you actually could say it's root 10 times root 10 times root 10, and two of those make 10. But either way, 10 root 10 minus 6 root 10 gives me 4 root 10. Well, that's a nice, neat answer, so I'm happy with that for that one. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to move this and sometimes do this uh, next to each other. Don't very often, but just because it, it looks relatively neat and the examiner can definitely follow it. I'm going to do minus root 10 here. You get basically exactly the same idea. Y equals but minus root 10 cubed this time. And it's minus 6 times minus root 10 is going to become plus 6 root 10 there. So I get y is minus 10 root 10 plus 6 root 10. So that's going to work out to be minus 4 root 10. So I can then say my two answers. One of my answers is root 10, 4 root 10. And my other answer is minus, sorry, minus root 10 minus 4 root 10. So those are the two answers. I'd normally just go back and check. Did I answer the question? Is there anything clever, anything I need to think about? What does it say? Giving your answers in fully simplified third form. Well, I've already got that coming out from the answer just from the work that I did. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that makes sense to you.